hello everyone good morning welcome back to my channel today we are going to cover one more use case in import that how you can import your inventory or opening stock with valuation in udu 19 i have already prepared the video for udu 18 but this is dedicated for udu 19 only as udu 19 has revamped with valuations that Udu 19 has removed the concept of stock interim received and delivered. So have we have multiple queries in my mind that how we can import those all queries will be resolved in today's video by step by step demonstration. So without wasting the time, let's jump to the database and let's understand how we can import the products with valuation in Udu 19. I have already prepared my Excel. This is my all products, these are my quantities, this is the cost and this is my valuation with these locations. We will import this file in two steps. First, we will import the product with cost and in the second step, we will import, we will do the inventory adjustment. But before we do any adjustment, let's check the valuation settings from the general settings. Okay, so let's jump to the database. This database, I have created a new company that all the transactions are named. So this is the blank database. So concepts will be clearly clarified. Okay. So now what we are going to do, these are my settings. I will put into the settings and search for the valuations and that valuations. Okay. That's, these are the three. Here you can see that periodic. Now Uru has removed that Anglo section and continental. So here we are using that periodic. This is nothing but my, my, uh, that Continental and perpetual is my Anglo sections. Okay, so now selecting that perpetual. Okay, my periodic. Just let me again go with my valuations. Okay, in that valuations, this is my perpetual. This is my manual. My costing method is average. Valuation account inventory valuation. This is my journal. The settings I have already enabled. Now just let me save it. And now second settings we have to do into the product category. Let me go with that product category. This is my row. Here you can see that average perpetual and this is my stock. This is stock variation account. That is kind of the that, that expense or cost of revenue account. This two settings we must have to enable before we do any import. Now step number three, we have to import the products along with cost. So what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm preparing that template. So for that, um, action export what we require we require the product name we don't require internal reference currently sales price we can we, if we require you can put it in our that template but i don't want i require that product type that product category my type then i require the cost that is most important and tracking and track by inventory so tracking is required and track by inventory. This all fields we required as of now. Okay, I'm just gonna export it. Template is exported and this is ready. Now this is my product category, which is zero. So now these are my name, which products we require. This is all my products that I require. So currently I'm preparing my template. These are my product. No, just let me copy it again. Control C. I am putting in Control V. Okay, my products are imported, products are copied. Now, what we require along with that, we require the cost because currently we are just importing the products with cost. Okay, and this is my cost. Okay, so now cost is ready. My product that category is ready my product type is ready okay that all things are ready so let me just make it the proper i'm not quite exporting the excel okay so cost is ready everything ready by tracking this is the by quantity so we are keeping that by quantity okay and now track inventory will be on means it will be true Okay, so my this file is ready. Now let's import the product first. Let's check everything. Yes, everything is perfect. Now let's import the product. So what we are going to do, gear button, import, upload the file. This is my latest file. 
name with product category type cost tracking let's test before we import test everything seems valid import and boom here you can see that all my seven products are imported properly let's check the cost also yes you can see that cost are also imported now our second step that we have to do the inventory adjustment so for that of course we have to prepare that udo compatible file but before we do any inventory adjustment one important configuration we have to do into the location so in the inventory go with the configurations and locations my location is inventory adjustment this is one kind of the inventory loss account and in that you can see now this is only loss account in udo 18 we have that uh, valuation incoming and valuation outgoing account but currently those are revamped with the loss account in that i am putting that suspense account which is my opening inventory balance is kind of the current assets account okay and you have to make that allow reconciliation this must be enabled this must be configured we do that inventory adjustment now next step preparing that udo compatible file operation physical inventory that is import the records and here i'm just fetching that template so now my template is ready i require i don't require my quantity so i'm removing this delete column this counted quantity and this all are, i don't require what i require i require the location okay and i don't require this all my Okay, what I require, these products are my products. These are my all products with quantity. So I'm putting those. Where is my file inventory adjustment file? Yes, okay. Just let me check. There is no any space. Okay, now quantity is also there. Now I require the locations also. How I can find the locations? I require these locations, actions, my export i want that display name so i am putting that display name and export from that i will find that locations perfect name control c and this is my file control v okay i'm just making this file okay so now my udo compatible file for inventory adjustment is ready let's do the inventory adjustment for that what we will do we will go with that operation physical inventory import import the records my file this is my file product counted location let's test before we import so i'm just gonna test everything seems valid and let's import boom my products are imported but before we what we have to do we have to do that apply and this is physical inventory opening stock go to 19 and let's do that update the quantities now based on that Udo will create one accounting entry so let's check into the accounting accounting journal entries Udo has triggered one entry with inventory valuations and this everything comes perfectly with my proper count if I will check the reporting with my balance sheets let's check the balance sheet and here if you will check that here you can see that your inventory valuation is debited and now this your particular account is credited so at the end of the year what we will do we will do the adjustment so for that what i am going to do i am passing one accounting entries so balance out you can put any numbers balancing i'm just putting any any notes and here what you have to do that account is my account is inventory balance so i am putting that inventory balance yes here that my inventory balance account was credited so it must be debited over here so the value is okay that must be debited okay and along with that my 999 100 rupees and profit and loss this must be triggered and i'm just gonna post this now let's check the reporting with the balance sheet and here you can see that this is my opening inventory balance that was my suspense account is now knockoff but along with that let's check my products 
those are imported properly with count or not so let me go with the products and what is my product this is my copper wire tees with the 6000 so copper this is copper wire tees with the 6000 here you can see that and we check the valuations also for that i will go with that review and with just let's check with the valuation inventory valuations and here you can see that that is my total valuation for my product so these are the steps that you have to follow to do the import in udo 19 the steps are similar for like udo 18 but just we have to change the account in the locations currently it was in in uh, stock accounting incoming and outgoing just that was uh, replaced by the loss account you can do it from your sides and let me know if you are stuck somewhere here we are here to help you out Thank you everyone.